This letter is called a lie in Korean. Is it an L or is it an R? Well, it's neither. But let's talk about why. First of all, why do I get this question so often? Hey, Billy, can you help me to pronounce this letter right here? Well, the reason is that in certain words, this letter can sound to an American or a native English speaker like either an L or an R. Now, first of all, if you have to pick one to write in English, definitely pick L. It's a lot closer to an L than it is to an R. And I'll talk about why. So we might have a word, for example, like ramen, ramen in English. And for people who write this, they might think it sounds more like an R. Or we can have another word like sarang for love. And here people might think it sounds more like an L. So they would write salang in English for this one or ramen in English for this one. Actually, when you're making the L sound in English, the tongue comes really close to the back of the teeth. However, when you're making the R sound, it's a little bit different. The tongue is simply squished at the back of the mouth, doesn't touch the top or your teeth. That's how you make an R sound. So these are completely different sounds in English. And in Korean though, this letter is made using neither of these. Although it is a little bit closer to the L if we have to pick one. So here is how this letter is made in Korean. You have your mouth, your teeth here, and the tongue goes behind the teeth, but not touching them, kind of up in this area. This is how you make the lear sound. This tongue position is actually already in the English language. So if you speak English natively, you can already move your tongue to this position and make a sound. But in English, it's neither L or R. So what is it? Actually, this is the tongue position where you would say D in English. So here's how that works. To make this sound, move your tongue as if you're going to say DA. Just D-A, right? DA. Pay attention to where your tongue is. DA. You can feel that it's right behind your teeth, maybe touching, maybe not touching your teeth. Da. But definitely not as close as it would be if you were saying an L. Now, put your tongue in that position again, but this time, instead of saying da, softly, remember, try to say la. So you're saying la with your tongue position as if it was going to say da. So, ready? Go ahead and let's give it a try. So we have da, and now we're going to say L instead. La. And there you have it. You have just pronounced, well, if you followed along, you've just pronounced la here correctly. So, why does it then sound like a different letter in the middle of a syllable or at the beginning of a syllable or even, for example, my name, Billy? No one would think this is Beery with an R. Of course, people would think this sounds more like an L. The reason for this sound changing to our ears, and in fact, it is kind of changing its sound when we're listening. The reason is because this tongue position can sound like both of those letters, whether it's the one that's starting a sound off, where it'll sound a little stronger, or if it's the sound that's going to be ending a syllable, in which it sounds much softer, like an L. So that's why people might write the word shi, and it definitely sounds like an L because it's finishing up here and it sounds much softer to our ears, reminds us of the L sound. However, at the beginning of a word such as ramen, it sounds a little bit harsher as it's coming directly out of our mouth. So some people might interpret that more like the tongue had come from here and sounds more like an R. So that's the reason I get this question a lot. So in summary, this letter can sound sometimes more like an L or more like an R to your ears but it's always being made at this tongue position, which is what can give it that slightly different sound to you. However, when you've gotten used to pronouncing this, it will no longer sound like an L or an R at all. It will simply sound just like this letter to you because you'll be able to recognize where the tongue is in the mouth when it's being spoken and when you're speaking it. Anyway, so I hope that was helpful. If you have your own questions, leave them in the comments and I'll make a video on it in the future. I'll see you guys next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.